All Art Now is an art space that uh, we co-founded together with artist Nasreen Bukhari in Damascus in 2005. Uh, the idea in that time was to support local artists, but also to create this place where uh, artists from other countries can meet local artists, develop their work together. In 2012, uh, we closed the space because of the ball. We start, I started to have All Art Now on Move in relationship with different partners around the world. And uh, since 2015, I'm based in Sweden. I'm working as an independent curator, but also I co-founded a space there in 2019 to have the experience to have All Art Now in Sweden. So Gisser is one of uh, our collaboration that we started in 2017. And since this date, we developed different projects together, also uh, exchange residency. I was mentoring the, uh, the residency of uh, Gisser. And now, like, we are collaborating in uh, the exhibition of Muhammad, the residency of Muhammad. The title Beyond the Beyond for my exhibition is inspired from one of the definition about the pataphysics. So it was uh, talking about the pataphysics is going uh, beyond the uh, metaphysics. So if the metaphysics is beyond uh, a physics, so the, the pataphysics is beyond the uh, metaphysics, so it's like double uh, beyond. And trying to go beyond what's happening, what's the reality, because there is no one face of the reality and how we look to the reality. So uh, I'm trying to go to beyond what we know, the beyond the knowledge, uh, the beyond our life, and uh, trying to go beyond the beyond. So Mohammed is one of the, the artists that I was working together, we were working together since 2005. And we did a lot of projects together. Uh, this one is one of uh, this project. Mohammed started this exhibition one year and a half before. Uh, it's uh, different, the exhibition speaks about different stories, also build this relation. So sometimes you can look to the stories from your perspective to read it. Uh, the artist doesn't really ask you to think about himself, but to think more about yourself when you are like looking through the work or the stories. Uh, I won't talk about one piece in the exhibition. It's like smallest piece in the exhibition. It's black sponge. The black sponge is story about the, the black sponge where they took trying to uh, take it out from the, the um, a deep sea between the stones. So they use the kids for their small hands and body to take this uh, black sponge uh, out. And the black sponge, uh, they, they were like thinking it's something good for having um, to, to be eternal youth. To, to still youth and and uh, to having to to stay used to have this eternity so they killed other souls so and then it's become forbidden to take this black sponge out I, I choose this story because uh, we have a lot of stories about um, the kids how they use the kids to taking things out and how they use these kids um, for dangerous um, missions. Uh, but in, in, in same times, these small kids could be us and how, how we, for having this eternal life and these things, the other, how we use us and taking our life. It's nice, I mean, when you will read the exhibition, not really to read the stories from uh, the side of the artist only, but also from your own perspective. How you will look to the work, how will you will read the stories. 
So I think if I will select, I will choose after mask. So what, what I like in the story is that, uh, you know, after mask is speaking about us as a human being, that sometimes, you know, like living in these different uh, difficult times, uh, contingency times in a way, when you have these tensions, when you are like in kind of like unexpected experiences, and then you feel that you are kind of like changing yourself. But then sometimes when these difficulties will stop or like will finish, you kind of like don't really know how you will look like and how you can come back as before. Go through our memory and brain is, and see what's there and how we, how we look at the stories, that's important for me. And then especially uh, also it's like how the turn it abstract shapes to have story behind it. And it's like what's, what this shape could have uh, a meaning in, in different way to different people. The Beyond Beyond it will not end. I think every story in our life is beyond beyond. So I don't know, it's like when I will stop and how I will stop and for what. But every day there is a new story you need to tell. There is a new um, interesting life matters we have to mention and talk about it. So the beyond beyond, even like when I moved here, so I, I saw uh, some really good stories in streets where, uh, so, and then these stories maybe for next exhibition will be part of it. So it's beyond beyond everywhere. So I'm trying to collect these uh, stories.